Hello, sixth grade scientists. So for lesson 3.4, we are going to learn to write a scientific argument about the channel on Mars using reasoning as well as the claim and evidence. Last class, we talked about the reasoning tool. So we're going to learn today how to use that reasoning tool to write a scientific argument. So the objectives, let me share my screen. The objectives that we have today are that the content objective is students will be able to utilize the reasoning tool to create a stronger and more convincing scientific argument. And the language objective is that students will be able to construct final scientific arguments to support that flowing water was the geologic process that formed the channel on Mars. So these are your tasks today. So remember that we've been trying to answer the question, how can we decide which geologic process formed the channel on Mars? We really did just kind of decide that uh, really last in the last week as we looked at the various types, two types of rocks on Earth, conglomerate and basalt. And then we found, saw an image of a conglomerate rock at the base of the channel on Mars. So let's write a scientific argument. So you have been carefully considering the evidence in order to decide which geologic process formed the channel on Mars. So we're gonna use evidence and reasoning, not opinion, to convince the reader that flowing water formed the channel on Mars. So the work that we did with the reasoning tool is gonna to make it easier for us to write our, our um, argument today. So here is the reasoning tool. And I'm gonna take a little bit of time to talk about this. So remember that the question is at the top. What geologic process formed the channel on Mars? The geologic process that formed the channel on Mars is flowing water. That's the claim. And I just noticed that this doesn't have a question mark. Then it's a question. Um, the evidence is that for, um, First, a piece of evidence that the geologic process on Earth, which is flowing water, those are images that we saw. So in satellite and aerial images, channels formed by water on Earth have a curved branching shape similar to the shape of the channel on Mars. This matters because when landforms on Earth look similar to landforms on rocky planets, it is evidence that they may have been formed by the same geologic process. If the channel on Mars is similar in shape to channels on Earth where water flows, it suggests that those channels were all fo formed by flowing water. So <clears throat> that's the one piece of evidence. And I just noticed there's a couple typos in there. Um, evidence card C, flowing water model. So that's the one for the stream table. In the flowing water model, a channel remained in the sand after the water stopped flowing. The flowing water model, and this matters because the flowing water model showed that after water stopped flowing, it left behind a channel. So this is evidence that the flowing water in the past could have carved the cha channel on Mars. So those are two pieces of evidence. And the last piece of evidence that we worked with last class was evidence card F, which is the image of the rock near the triangular landform on the channel of Mars. The same type of rock is found near the base of the channel on Mars and near channels on Earth formed by flowing water. This matters because since the channel on Mars has the same type of rock near it is <clears throat> as do channels formed by flowing water on Earth, this supports the idea that the channel on Mars was formed by flowing water. And then you kind of really restate the claim. Therefore, flowing water formed the channel on Mars. So these are all of the pieces of evidence that we discussed in the reasoning tool last class. But we also talked about how there are other pieces of evidence that you could add. And you can think about what those are, and you can for sure add more information and evidence. Remember, you don't have to put them in this order. You can choose. You get to choose which evidence you feel is the most convincing, and that's what you're going to use in your scientific argument. 